This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes, your sun power. This is the noon Barbados May update for Wednesday, March 26, 2014. I'm Kmar Jordan. No pay, no work. Well over 100 employees at the United Commercial Auto Works Limited made good on their threats to stay off the job today. The disgruntled employees are demanding their overdue pay packs. Those who were paid monthly were left empty-handed last Friday, and weekly paid workers will not get their monies today. Our news team was at the Weymouth UCAL headquarters where workers vented their frustration at the union, the Barbados Workers' Union, and in particular the union boss, General Secretary Sir Roy Trotman, who's also the chairman of UCAL. This is not proper working conditions, and the thing that got all of us upset is that Sir Roy hasn't come to us as yet. And we went to the union yesterday, we laid our claim and telling what we were going to do, and this morning, we had expect that somebody would have come and represent us, and we are totally frustrated with that. The only main problem is that Saroy represents the Barbados work, and we represent the Barbados War Authority. Lying, we hold our limb over them. He is the chairman uh, of your council, he's also the general secretary. And I want you to know, if you don't come down here before you end week, you can't get any more safeguards on us. Right now, we, can be, we have not been paid our creditors since September last year. Can't get our garbage moved because we have no money to pay the garbage people to come and collect the bills. Campbell saw for the paper we done with Campbell. And that's the problem that we have. Still on the industrial relations front, some small victories for the National Union of Public Workers as it fights for the prospective employees of the Barbados Revenue Authority. General Secretary Dennis Clark says an offensive letter sent to the workers regarding their expression of interest for jobs has been withdrawn. Additional workers will also be offered jobs at the agency, which will replace the Inland Revenue Department, the Licensing Authority, the VAT Office, the Land Tax Department, and the Customs Department. Clark says the union met with the Finance Minister and Permanent Secretary last Friday to sort out some of the issues, including the offensive correspondence. The text was really, truly ultra-virus, and um, it was withdrawn. Then we wanted to know um, how many people would not be offered um, a letter of expression of interest and we were told seven and we were able to get that figure adjusted. Uh, we know the other seven are, are peculiar situations that we will not want to um, discuss with the media. Okay. Uh, this evening we look at those persons, there are some persons who should have been appointed under the 2007 Public Service Act that have not been appointed. So we got to get that straight out and make sure, we want to make sure they get appointed out before there's um, this, uh, any transition. Clark was speaking to the media yesterday evening after a meeting with the workers. Another discovery of hundreds of cannabis plants. This time almost 600 trees were found in a gully in Shuri Gap, Cartrington, St. Michael. Police say some as tall as 11 feet. No one has been arrested. After months of struggle, the island's tourism product is beginning to see some light at the end of the tunnel. The president of the Barbados Hotel and Tourism Association, Patricia Alfonso Das, says six new ships have been welcomed for the 2013-2014 period. And from all reports, cruise passenger numbers are trending upwards for the 2014-2015 season. As far as airlift goes, she says the U.S. market is looking positive. And with a new charter service from Canada beginning this summer, Afonso Das says there's good news out of the UK market as well. In the UK and Europe, generally the outlook is positive for 2014. Bookings for the winter were looking stronger than those of last year, and the forward booking pace is encouraging. We currently have four flights a week out of Manchester, two by Virgin, and the two Thomas Cook charters. We need to ensure that these flights are successful, since they provide a gateway for travellers from the north of England 
and also Ireland and Scotland, along with other European field gateways. To sports now is victory number two for the Windies women. The Windies beat Bangladesh by 36 runs in the match seven of the Women's T20 World Cup this morning. The Windies women scored 115 in their 20 overs. Deandra Dotton took top honors, scoring 34 runs. Stacey Ann King was next in line with 20. Bangladesh were limited to 79 runs in their 20 overs. Tremaine Smart took two for nine, and Anissa Mohammed took two for 22. There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Sun power. In regional developments, a son could be slapped with charges after his dogs mauled his mother to death. Yes, you're hearing it correctly. Yesterday, 84-year-old Sylvia Roberts was killed by three pit bulls which belonged to her son as she attempted to collect her mail. The Attorney General of Trinidad and Tobago, Anand Ram Logan, says... Even though the dog's control bill has not yet been passed, it will still be possible to lay charges once this is done. Ram Logan says yesterday's incident vindicates the government's position that legislation needs to be breed-specific. He maintains pit bulls are unpredictable and he urges citizens not to allow dangerous animals to be a threat to their lives and those of others. On the international front, the desperate search continues for scores of people missing in Washington state after a devastating mudslide five days ago. Authorities are reporting a death toll of 16, but about 176 people are still missing following Saturday's collapse of a rain-soaked hillside which tumbled over a river, across a road, and into a rural residential area. Dozens of homes were buried in that catastrophe. The search and rescue teams have revamped their operations using cadaver dogs to pinpoint possible bodies. The slide ranks as one of the worst ever in the United States. Let's hope for some more positive news as we go forward into the 6 o'clock edition. But that's our noon update for now. Join us again this evening. Until then, log on to www.barbadistoday.bb. Subscribe to our e-paper or better yet, like us on Facebook to get more news and sports. I'm Kmar Jordan. Please be safe out there. This news update is brought to you by... Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. Yes,